Yo, so in today's video, I have you an updated video on the top class setups you should be using in Rebirth Island right now. If you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 80k, and whenever we do hit 80k, we're going to be doing a 5,000 cop point giveaway. To enter, just subscribe and comment below saying you want to enter, and that's it. Make sure to go ahead and follow my Twitch as well. I stream there five days a week. I'd really appreciate it, and it'd be great to see you guys come over to the stream sometime. Link is in the description. Without further ado, let's get into the loadouts. Comment down below if I've missed any good weapons. Maybe there's something that you use that I didn't include in this video that you think is pretty underrated. Comment down below and let me know. Let's get straight into it. So the first weapon in the video is going to be the XM4. This is one of my favorite assault rifles in the game right now. Let's get straight into the class. So for the class, we have the agency suppressor increasing the accuracy and the range. The task force barrel also increasing the accuracy and range. It does decrease the mobility by a little bit. But it doesn't matter, it's a long range assault rifle, you don't really need great mobility. Axle three times for the clean scope, this is the cleanest scope you could use. Some people use the microflex for a closer range uh, weapon, and then a lot of people also use the, where is it, the Susat multi-zoom as well, that's pretty decent, so you can mess around with the sights if you want and have a little uh, play around with them and see which one you like the most. We're going to have the field agent grip for the accuracy and the Stanag 60 round mag as well. That is the full loadout. Make sure to screenshot it, make sure to use it, whatever. Let's get on to the next one. Next up, we have the Owen gun. And if you have played in the most recent like weeks, every single sweaty crackhead G Fuel snorter is running around, literally cracked out their minds using this weapon. It's the Owen gun. I've been using it and it feels amazing right now. So we have the recoil booster increasing the fire rate, the rapid barrel increasing the fire rate. We then have the remove stock increasing the mobility. Brace increasing the recoil control, quick with the mobility, rear grip is the fabric grip for the mobility, and then hand stop for the recoil control. 72 round drum, make sure it is this one, because there is two, this one is better. This increases the fire rate and it also makes it nice and accurate. And then the hollow point attachment. And the most important attachment I feel is the optic, because this sight is just makes it a lot easier on the Owen gun because as you can see this magazine is huge right on the side of the weapon it's right in your face but with this specific sight you can't really see the magazine as much as you could this is the full loadout make sure to give it a go and try it out trust me this is really good at the moment next up we have the pp bison yes that's correct you're probably thinking what but if you guys have seen on youtube tiktok whatever this thing actually got a buff in the most recent update and it was kind of like a silent little buff, like not many people know about it, but it's actually a really, really good weapon now, so I definitely recommend giving it a go. So you want to use the monolithic suppressor for the damage range, sound suppression, steel barrel for the damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control, tack laser for the mobility, ADS time, etc. Then the no stock for the mobility, movement speed. It's a pretty fast weapon as well, which is pretty nice. And then we have the rear grip, which increases the mobility as well. This is the full loadout. Um, it's actually a really good weapon. You guys need to try it before you comment below saying that it sucks. But trust me, this thing kills really quick now. Basically, what they did was they buffed the limb damage. So the limb, whenever you shoot a limb, it does the same damage as if you were to shoot, um, you know, their main body part, like their stomach or whatever. So, yeah, it's pretty good, pretty powerful. Try it out. Next up, we have the Vargo 52. One of the most accurate assault rifles in the game right now. This thing is really, really good. Not many people have it unlocked because you do have to do a challenge for it, but this weapon is very good, so it's definitely worth doing the challenge. If you want to know how to unlock it, I do have a video on my channel. So you want to use the Guru Suppressor, increasing the accuracy and damage range, Task Force for the accuracy and damage range, Spetness Grip for the recoil control, and then the 60 round magazine and the axle three times. If you want, you could swap the 60 round with the 45 round. A lot of people do that because with the 60, the ADS is a little bit slower, but you get more bullets. And then with the 45, the ADS is faster, but you get less bullets. So it's up to you. Ball load out right here. Try it out. Okay, so next up we have the Growl. This is one of my favorite assault rifles. It's super accurate, really nice iron sights, and it's really good mobility as well for an assault rifle. So it can also be used at medium range as well. So for this weapon, you're going to want to use the Monolithic Suppressor for the increased damage range and the sound suppression. Then the Archangel Barrel for the increased range, damage range, recoil control, all of that kind of stuff. Tack Laser for the ADS time, uh, which is really, really helpful. Commando full grip for the recoil and 60 round magazine. If you want it to be a little bit more accurate, you could take the tack laser off and stick on the three times optic. But personally, I just like to use the tack laser. Next up in the video, we have the MP40, which is honestly one of the best SMGs. You all probably know this, so I'm just going to keep it short on this one. 
Uh, but let's get into the class. So we have the recoil booster increasing the fire rate. Then we have the short barrel increasing the limb damage and the damage range. This is my favorite sight, but you can use whatever sight you guys want to. Slate reflector, the model 47, anything you want. It's all personal preference, but this one is my favorite. Try it out if you want. Then we're going to go for the bolding stock increasing the mobility. The skeletal stock increasing the ABS time. 45 Gorenko mag increasing the recoil control, which is really helpful. Movement speed, ADS speed, and the fire rate. It does quite a lot for this weapon, so definitely stick it on. Hollow point for the increased limb damage. Stippled grip tape for the increased recoil, or if you want the weapon to be a bit quicker, you could stick on fabric grip instead. Then we have brace for the recoil and quick for the sprint speed. Full loadout is here. Let's get on to the next one. Next up, we have the Cooper Carbine. This is like a medium to close range build for the Cooper Carbine. Um, I'll show you guys a long range build as well if you guys want it. But this is what I've been using lately and it's really, really good as like a sniper support or like a close range option. So let's get into it. We have the MX Silencer for the accuracy. And then we have the Cooper Custom Barrel for the accuracy and the fire rate. The Slate Reflector because it is a pretty nice sight for a sniper support, medium range gunfights. Remove stock for the mobility, tight grip for the accuracy, fully loaded, fabric grip for the mobility, 60 round mag for the accuracy and fire rate, and the ADS speed, lengthened, and the hand stop. Now if you want to make this into a, like, a long range option instead, what you want to do is stick on the 25 times optic instead. Instead of the remove stock, you want to go ahead and put on the 45 RS stock, and that's pretty much it, just changing two attachments. So this is the long range build. And then the close range build would be something like this. Make sure to try it out. Try them both out. They're really, really good. I personally think this is the best sniper in the game still. A lot of people might disagree and say the Swiss is better. Let me know what you guys think. But personally, I like the car. Suppressor for the damage range, sound suppression, 27 inch barrel for the range, tack laser for the ADS, sniper scope, and then the precision comb for the accuracy. Or if you want fast ADS, you can use the sport comb. It's up to you. You guys already probably know what the loadout is for this. So I'm not going to talk about it too much, but here it is. Let's go on to the next weapon. Next up, we have the Cold War AK, which is insane at long range. This thing hits like a truck. It does have a bit of recoil, but if you can control it, you're good to go. The increased recoil control and range. RPK barrel for the same thing, pretty much increasing the recoil and range. Axle three times because it's the cleanest scope for the Cold War assault rifles, or you can use the Suicide Multi Zoom if you wanted to. 45 round magazine and the spetness grip make sure you are using the 45 round mag because with the 60 the ads is way too slow so make sure to stick it on that is the loadout let's get into the next one last weapon in this video is the ots one of the best smgs in the game and it has been very good for a very long time let's get straight into the class so you want to use the grease suppressor for the vertical recoil control which is really helpful and also the range which is helpful the task force barrel for the increased range and strafe speed the skeletal stock which increases the mobility Sprint by a time, all that good stuff. Serpent wrap for the ADS and then the 40 fast mag. That's the full loadout and that is the 10 class setup. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.